Here's a fun fact about this Wi-Fi enabled toothbrush. This one is now directly out of the box and you can see it advertises Bluetooth. And normally you would now connect it to your application and it will yeah, be configured that way. But by enabling a hotspot with just the right um, data or name and password, we can see we got a new connection and it's connected to Wi-Fi. And not only that, we can now send a specific uh, data package, whatever, we are some cloud service, whatever, and send it like so. And after a while, we see a message icon appear, hopefully. It will now actively try to connect to the cloud. And yeah, as we can see, we got a little icon. And if we now press the button, we got a problem. And yes, this works on every toothbrush worldwide without authorization or more knowledge. So, and while the cloud part is not very damaging, I would call, as this message is not yeah, burned into it and it's still usable afterwards, we want to go a bit deeper. And either by utilizing this preset Wi-Fi config, this Evo Vera with a password from 1 to 8, um, or a fully configured toothbrush, by writing some little codes onto this ESP, which then also opens up this Wi-Fi and will serve like the perfect answers to get a firmware update into the toothbrush. We will do this, this now as well. So let's see how we can get there. I will only now start the this yeah, exploit server to not damage it beforehand. And we can already see that the UART spits out that it receives a download request from the toothbrush itself. And it basically just asks for the data. But since it's now connected to this ESP here and not to the real cloud, it gets some data it uses to update the firmware. And just in a while, we will see the um, toothbrush, which is now, it, it was fully stuck, out of the box, untouched. Basically, you can walk through a store and turn the toothbrushes on, if there are any at all. And now you see the toothbrush even updating to the firmware. And while I'm rambling around here just, it's to yeah, bypass this waiting time of the upload. After that, it will reboot into a new firmware. And as you can see, this is now running a fully custom firmware, completely over the air updated. And yeah, is now fully in our hands. One more step is now that this toothbrush will advertise a new Wi-Fi network. And it's this I'm hacked now, which you can connect to and upload a new firmware to it afterwards, because otherwise you would have to open it up. Basically, that's it for today. And it's a quite nice challenge from this DDoS hyped toothbrush thing. One fun fact. This is just this entry level toothbrush and it actually has no vibration motor in the head. It's just to control your pressure and your quality of cleaning. This company also has some bigger versions, but they are more cost costly. So I stick with this one here. And basically that's all. Bye bye.